Hello, it's Sarah, and today I'm going to do a tutorial for you guys on wood burning. And I just wanted to share some of the ones I've made. Let me zoom in a little bit. I did a previous video about wood burning. Um, I was using the VersaTool from uh, Michaels, the one that you can get there, but then I ended up getting uh, the Colewood Super Pro 2. And that one has a little bit better selection when it comes to the tips. This is the skew that I ended up getting that I like. It didn't come with it. Um, the skew that came with it is super pointy. And so I have now I have these two options. But this one I feel I can get a little better uh, definition. Um, I also got this is the shading tool I ended up I did get the um, what this is the Colwood version I got the spoon shaped one I haven't had a lot of luck with that I still have to play with it um, the spoon shader so I'm still very much a beginner but what I wanted to do was try and do it more crafty because a lot of um, wood burning is realistic and uh, something more like this which this is the book that I got that came with the kit uh, is by Sue Walters Waters Sue Walters I have it right here and so this was one of the tutorials that she had in this her pri pyrography workbook so I did that and this is my first attempt. I ended up putting um, Daddy Vans over it, which I'm not sure if that's a good way to go or not to seal it, but um, I don't know. I did, and then what I found was it can, it can cover up some marks, like it kind of goes into the marks. I don't know. It looks good, though. For a first attempt, I'm, I'm not hating it. Uh, so this is a lot more what to it, what you would expect with wood burning. So what I wanted to do was do it a little more crafty. So I've been bringing in um, stamps, uh, and because I'm a painter, a decorative painter, I have a lot of different um, patterns that are more cr of a, of the crafty type, right? So I did do a bunch of stamps, but then I just found this little guy. To my favorite flake this is a Maxine Thomas pattern and I'm still trying to figure out where I should be shading uh, because you really don't have highlighting when you're wood burning you only have shading so you have to bring out the highlighted part um, by not shading there so it's kind of it's fun though I mean and I think that turned out super cute um, then I have been adding a little bit like okay this of course is what we did when we did all of our racks the ones by um, Tracy Moreau this is her pattern that I just kind of adapted to a little wood circle and you can see I'm trying to figure it out I'm changing it up a little bit trying to decide where I want the shading oh and then also lines because with wood burning you get a lot of definition by creating the hair lines and the fur lines and all that stuff so you know this one I tried to do it with with the shader and then this one I used the skew and made the lines which I'm not sure it looks like hair it looks like fur I mean it's not horrible I think it's kind of cute so today I'm going to do one of these with you guys um, I am using my um, I use a little bit of pencil so I've just and you'll notice here like when you shade it changes the the texture of the wood so that the pencil doesn't adhere as well um, but it's still you're still able to just get a little bit of color on there so just a little cheek color and then I'm also using my uh, jelly roll pens by Sakura and just adding adding them for a little sparkle because these are Christmas ornaments you know um, <clears throat> now between these two I love what I've done with the berries and all that stuff but I, I want to this last one I'm gonna make his beard much more bulky and full 
I like this mustache, but I won't be putting the little fur lines in there, you know. And I was burning really hot with this one. This one I had it turned up quite high. Um, and I was, so the lines are very dark, which I like. I do like that. So, but I did them both. They're both different. <clears throat> and then this is a, a, a recollection stamp that I have. And I thought, well, I want to try it. And I didn't have anything this big. But the way she ended up, I'm pretty happy with it because she's just kind of sticking out the top, or I'm sorry, the top part of her fit on here. So I'll go in on one. <clears throat> so I did two. Let me see which one. I, I think I did this one first. And what I'm noticing is, see, look at her neck, how I just go in way too hot. You have to go very very gently at first because if not you can't you can't take it away so I can't take that away from under her neck now like it's just and after you've done all that work you know putting in all the detail lines then you come back and shade it and you know it's it's very disappointing because you're like wow so then here's the other one so you can see I learned my lesson a little bit I did not go in as hard with the shading but it's still there and I'm still shading quite a bit. Let me just make sure you can see both of them. <clears throat> but on her hair, you know, I still, over here, I went way dark. But on this one, I just really tried to keep it light. And But I made sure I got it underneath here. What else? I mean, I think it's shaded enough, but I didn't have to go super dark. So really... This one came out pretty good too, but like on the wings, I, I could do more because one, well, it, it's like I always like one more than the other. This wing I kind of like better because I didn't go down the sides of these. And you just really need to have a gentle touch and really tip the skew up. Now on this face, I used my pointy pointy skew, the one that came with it, this one. And ended up being able to get a little better detail except for on the nose this line went in really hot and I didn't mean to push that hard so it there's such a subtlety to this I, I just you know and I'm very heavy-handed and so it is definitely a tricky tricky you know balance that you have to kind of figure out uh, but for the most part I like them and like I said I'm just adding my little highlights with um, my jelly roll pens and stuff like that and then on this one I painted it gold on the back after I signed it so it went into the holes and then this one I just signed it and left it. and I put I just put the gold paint around the edge oh I put um, Wink Estella on the wings and I think I sealed them with the wax too I don't know if I did this one see it's hard to tell because when I varnished one of them I ended up, I did varnish some of these, and I, I don't think I could tell you the difference right now. I think the tooth, I think I varnished this one. I varnished a couple of them because it definitely brings the tooth back up. Oh, these were the only other two that I did. This is a different um, design, uh, a different, um, and I use, see how I use my jelly? This is actually, I think, the glaze pen, which I want to show you that. Up oh, on the candy cane. And it's such a different look. And then I used this, the glitter on the berries and the, um, the rest of it. But this is the glaze that I used on the candy cane. And it just looks so cool. All right, you guys. So I think I'm going to turn on my machine over here. I'm going to put it on detail and we'll go up to about a five at least now on the tool that I have it's a dual it has two two wires and you click it over to the left and it says detail and you click it to the right and it says heavy duty now I haven't ever bought a heavy duty tip so I don't know if I'm gonna burn out my tips faster or what's gonna happen but um, you know, hey, that's the chance I take because I'm rough on my tools. <laughs> All 
All right, so now I also have my desk set up a bit, bit different. This is another thing. Let me zoom up a little bit first. One second. Um, this is something that I, I bought for my husband. He was doing um, soldering because he creates all those, all our light uh, display out front for Christmas. And this was such a handy thing that I went and found and brought out because I cannot see my eyes. I have bifocals in my glasses, so my prescription has a bifocal. But, I mean, I just was straining my eyes so much to see that little angel. And so I went and dug this out, and I'm so happy that I did because um, I don't know if you guys will be able to see the difference. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. That is amazing. So that's what, <laughs> that's what it looks like. Hello. I can see. So I'm probably not going to use this right now. The Santa isn't too bad, but for something like this, and, and the way I've been doing these is with uh, dye ink. So I, I just use a very light color of dye ink and stamp it out onto the wood. And so it's not dark. The lines are there, but it's not dark. Um, so that magnifier, boy, that saved my life yesterday. <laughs> my eyes were dying. So I've already gone ahead and um, traced out the Santa on here. And I don't know if you'll be able to see. I also have this little clip-on fan. It's a fan with a clip. And I'm just clipping it here next to me and um, so that it will pull the, the smoke away. And I'm going to try and see if I can zoom in. All right, I think you're going to be able to see pretty good, okay? So I'm grabbing my skew, and we're on number five. And I'm also going to bring in this little... All right, I think we're hot. We're pretty hot. And I like to start with all the straight... Hey, Matt, I'm filming, honey. Um, all the straight lines first. Oops, turn on my fan. And here we go. So for Santa, I want to try and make this look like fur a little bit. So I'm going to hopefully, now I'm just going to touch it and kind of swiggle it as I go. And the longer, one of the videos I saw is by Sharon Birchtold. I think that's how you say her name. And she had a little beginner. All you had to do was sign up for her emails. And it was called the PhD in wood burning. Pressure, heat, and duration. Those were the three um, what would they be called? the keys to the dif different, um, I don't know, I can't talk and do this at the same time evidently. So anywho, it depends how long you hold the heat to the piece, how hard you push it. Now that looks furry, right? Like a little bit more furry. Now this one I really want to make kind of straight. So I'm going to try and just cut in and be really straight and to make a curved line you can turn you kind of turn your fingers now to go around this turn here I'm gonna just touch it the tip of it that's how I've been doing it anyway listen I told you I'm a beginner and I'm figuring it out as I go actually put a little line over here too. I don't know if that looks right or not. Yeah, I think it does. All right, then I'll put his little, this is the sides of his face. Now, to do his mustache, I liked how I did it. Now, if you look at these, this one I was much more pushing down harder and lifting up, push down hard, lift up. And I love that look. This one I was a little more kept closer together. This one looks a little more like fur. I don't know what I'm gonna get this time, but basically you just 
and then I'm going to put it down next to it and kind of keep doing that all the way along this curve. So each time I've done him, it's been a little bit different. And I'm going to continue all the way up. But I think it gives you the look of a mustache. Now, I can do that same. I think I'm going to do the same thing along the back end, too. I haven't done that yet. I've only kept it um, straight. Let's see if I'm in the shot. Okay. So we're going to go do the same thing. And I think it just adds more texture. You know, I don't know if that looks right or not. I gotta put his hairline in here too. I don't love that the way I ended that off. I'm just gonna But I like the way it looks on the top, so I'm gonna do that again. Well, I have to now. I have to match it up. Hopefully, I'm in the shot. And you just, again, follow. But turning, I'm using my fingers to kind of turn the pen as I burn. And I also turn the piece with my fingers. Does that look even? Yeah. Am I in the shot? Yeah. And so let your own um, creative style play into it as well because if you're a beginner like I am, that looks cool. These lines were much closer. Um, it looks furry, whatever. Um, there's no rules for me right now because I don't know any better. So I'm just kind of winging it and, do, and having fun. You know, just, it's a Santa ornament. I think he's beautiful. You know, and I think he needs more like something like this. Like just something to make it look like beardy. But I don't know how to do it. Like I'm not, you know. I think that looks kind of beardy. Does that look beardy? <laughs> I think it looks beardy. All right, let's get these the rest of the straight lines on here so we can see what we're looking at. So his face, see that my wire is hitting the fan. It just makes it awkward. But we got to get a lip in here. We want to make it curvy. So I'm up on the tip of my skew right now because I, I want to have better control. So now he has a lip. We got to put his nose in, which is, you know, and there are other tools like this is called a ball tool. And you're supposed to be able to do curves very easily with it. I don't have the best of luck with it. Look, that's what my name looks like when I use it. And I don't. I don't feel like that's a consistent enough line for me. So I tend to use the skew very gently. And I like the consist it's a little I mean, hey, it is what it is, but I I think it matches the rest of the design. And that's what I like better. So here's his eyebrows. And his eyes. I changed his eyes a little bit. On the other design, they're just black. But I just gave him a little iris and, you know. So like, you've done the whole thing and you're doing the eyes and you really don't want to mess it up now, you know? That's just a bummer when that happens. But look, so the way they're positioned, it's kind of going that way. So I kind of want to turn it over and mimic that. I want to make them look the same. There you go. Because that, uh, now I don't want them to be different sizes. 
But if it is, you know, whatever, it is what it is. You just got to... It's not bad. I'm going to make a little curve here. For some reason, they keep, they're looking off to the right. And here. Now that one, I could have left more room for white in the eye, but I'm going to... I used my, uh, this is the first time I've ever done this. So that's what he looks like. And I mean, I could put hair lines here too. Because that's hair. Never done that before. Um, I'm not going to put the lines in the mustache this time. Alright, the last thing I have to do is I like these little um, holly what are they? They're not holly. These are pine pine uh, needles. So let's just go. Am I in the shot? Yay. Oh, the other thing is I have sanded my wood. Before I begin, I make sure everything is sanded so that you do get any rough bits and pieces that are sticking out of your wood. This is craft wood, so I don't even really know what kind of wood this is. Uh, some of the craft wood at Michael's and the craft stores tells you, it does say, it says like, uh, I think it's called basswood, B-A-S-S. -S. I think so. And, um, there are better woods to, to burn on than others. So, all right, so here he is. He looks pretty cute. I'm gonna put this back and get my, I'm gonna flip it to the shader. So I'm flipping over and I'm gonna turn that way down to like a number two. Because I, those of you who watch my videos, I say it all the time, what am I? I'm a heavy hand, so that means whatever I'm doing, I tend to be heavy with it. Like, I put, that, put it down hard, I put a lot, I do, you know, so in this case, it's very helpful to be gentle first. So, um, let's see. I Both these Santas turned out pretty good. Uh, like, look. This one, I only did a little bit around where the hat flipped over. This one I did a lot more. So I just decided like it should be shaded on the sides. I think the mustache even needs a little more. Like it probably should be shaded on top and bottom, but I'm not sure. Like <clears throat> they look cute. I think they both look good, but I'm figuring it out as I go type thing. All right, so for this one, I just really want to show you the technique. I don't, you know, it's not a pa fa pass or fail situation. So I, it's anything goes, it's okay. Um, let's see, so this should be heated up. It only takes a second, and I'm going to grab my little uh, sample wood and just take it and put it down. Good. So sometimes I put it down and it goes like it really burns so this is this feels good like a nice temperature so I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and what I like to do what I figured out is the skew I have this here so I like to just use the very edge of the blade and so for instance I keep it on, a, I don't lay it down. Let me go to my sample again. So if you lay it down, all of it on the surface, you get the whole shape of the skew, right? But if I just put the tip, you only get that much of a burn. So then if I do the tip and pull, you get, or if I even turn it on the, put it on the side and pull, you can get that graduation of color a little bit. 
that's what I'm figuring out but like for a spot like this in here I just take the tip and start to gently pull some shading am I in the shot yeah and I'll go up against both lines that I've already burned because if I put it down there chances are I'm not gonna leave a scold mark or a scald how do you what do you say scalding so that's good I'm gonna do it here and we're gonna go all the way along I do it the darkest on the sides and in the corners but I do see this is probably a lot um, it's on a low very low heat so I can hold it on there a little longer see that's the other thing I have to figure out I can move slower and get the same result because if it's hot as soon as you touch it down you get a burn so what does that look like looks pretty good now going up against his face I really don't want it to be too dark now in here I don't mind but on his face I want to keep it so I'm going to move faster and really soft and moving faster keeps it lighter and I don't know if I'm just making a line yeah, that just looks like a line. That looks pretty good. So now I'm going to do this little part up against his nose. Oh man, see why is that so hot? Because um, I'm sitting away from it. That was way too hot. Like, I don't like that at all. I'm sorry, I messed it up. So that's disappointing me. Like... I don't know if I can fix it, but right now I'm feeling like I wouldn't even like want to give this away because I don't like that. And I have no, like right now I'm touching this and nothing's happening, but when I did it there, it really uh, just, the heat grabbed it. And it's weird because I guess it depends on the wood. And that's what I haven't, I'm not, uh experienced enough to know why that happened and change it you know and be able to fix it so for right now all right here's something else we got to do we got to go now hopefully I'll just touch it softly I wonder if you guys can see the smoke when it makes smoke but it's getting sucked away by my fan because I have my fan pointing away from me and I'm going to put some here I'm going to try and touch it a little longer and see but there's definitely a learning curve and it, it takes a while to figure this out like I really it's frustrating because when I paint or when I do anything else I can generally I can fix my mistakes right away because I know what I did and I just know what I'm doing and it's 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 really it's a it's frustrating when you don't know and I'm scratching the wood like right now see it comes with these little uh, they're very fine sand, sanding blocks because I think I actually marked the wood right there with like I don't know if it's if it's res, residue from the from the blade here so I'm gonna just gently go around the edge of the beard So what do you think? See, that's disappointing right there. Very disappointing. <clears throat> I think I did a little bit on his eyes just to give them a rounded look. And it should be shaded here, obviously, but I was going to put a little bit of, um, cut like a little bit of pink there. 
and it doesn't take if I put if I burn the wood a little bit on his nose or on his mouth you could do a little right here on both sides of his mouth and up against his nose and his nose so I'm going to do the bottom of his nose and up against his nose <clears throat> So basically, if you guys saw my painting uh, video where I painted this little guy, I'm just shading in the same places that I would have shaded with paint, but I'm just doing it with fire this time. And, uh, you know, it's a shame because classes are so helpful for me like to be there with someone when they're doing this would be so helpful and to see them and to be able to ask questions it's just such a helpful thing to be able to do um what else do i want to do he's looking pretty good right i think I should probably do a little bit more on the mustache, like maybe just gently. Underneath, is that where it would be shaded? Does that look good? That looks pretty good. I don't know. I really don't know. And I'm trying to co copy that same move I was just doing. I have no idea how to do it. Because I'm going in the opposite direction. And I think I, I don't know. That looks good. It kind of looks dimensional, right? I think it needs a little more here. See, and I don't know what the moves are, like if I can just go like that and like color with it, or if you have to keep picking up and putting down. Seems like you can do that, right? And it makes it look textured almost, doesn't it? I think that looks good. I wish I didn't do it so dark there. And I really don't know how to get it back to white. I think I've seen, because um, Sharon Birch told, she's on YouTube. She only shows little like one minute videos of her classes that she has. And um, so she doesn't, I think I've seen her take a... Uh, uh, exacto knife, an exacto blade, and like kind of scrub out a mistake sometimes. But when I tried to do that, of course, I gouged it. I gouged the wood. I think I threw it away too. So that looks cool. All right, but look how. Look, I'm gonna put this back. Turn it off. And I can turn off my fan. So all three of these look so different. It's crazy. All right, I'm gonna, you know what I have to do though? I wanna put the berries in. So I'm gonna switch my skew, and this is how I do it with this machine. I just take that, and I'm gonna put my little dotting tool on. And I'll heat that up, turn it on. Uh, I'll put that up a little hotter. Um, I'm gonna make because I liked how the berries looked. They're even though they're they go into the wood, they don't stand out. I like that I could put my um, jelly roll pen right in there. So these two, this guy actually, I think I'm gonna add someone his too because it looks so cute. I think I already um, put wax or something over it. But let's do, uh, do you like that blue for his eyes? I think it makes him pop. I'm going to do it again because I could do a different color, but I think I am going to do the blue. And, you know, I wasn't sure if it was covering the, uh, the shading. It does. So I basically just took a Q-tip 
you know it's one of my favorite things to have in the craft room and kind of blotted it over on that side to see if it would remove it I, I didn't really do it but you know what I think I'm just going to use a little bit of pink here or red I should say and maybe I won't use the uh, I'll just use it on the berries and I did white the white jelly roll pen I put in here on the white of his eye see this one was really small I could have made I could have given him a little bit more and then I also made a highlight dot because you gotta have that it really brings him to life you can put a little bit here and here but the pink is very subtle so I don't know I don't love the shading on see look at his his face looks really good the shading because it's just subtle but you know it's there this one I overdid it I just overdid it I think I don't know um, so let's this dotting tool is probably ready so I just like to do like let's see one two three little berries um, I can also write I'm going to show you what I mean now I already sanded the back of this and I'm just going to try and write with my penmanship happy holidays and it is not easy so I'm just going to write and I try to keep it very smooth and really anyhow you, you can see what happens it it does it but I actually haven't ever done it like a full script I don't like it at all I hate my handwriting I like my printing better I gonna have enough room you know I mean I, I guess it just takes practice because that didn't feel too bad it doesn't look great it's not the best thing I've ever done I'll put a 20 16 I think it just takes pre the same pressure and the same duration on every uh, stroke you make. And then I'll just write my name right here. And if you sand the wood, you shouldn't get stuck in little holes. And yeah, but it's, it's not easy. It's not as easy as it looks. It really isn't. But I mean, hey, there it is. I signed my name, whatever. Um, all right, let me put that back. So what do you think? Cute, right? I mean, it's a very cute way to get a quick, and that took like, it took so quick. That's why I love the craftiness of this. Now the angel, she didn't take that quick. Um, but boy, what a help that magnifier made. So look how that just popped it up, right? And let's just take, finish it off with the red. And this is the glitter, and I just put it like right in the hole. And you can see it. I mean, I'm sure you could use your stickles or whatever, but this doesn't, I mean, this seems to be doing the trick. Adorable. And then I can always just take 
a little pom-pom or a bell, but I have these little flatbacks that I've been putting, and I'm going to put that right there. All right, you guys. Happy holidays. These were just too fun. I just couldn't stop doing it. So, and then the angel. She's my other favorite. I'm going to work on them. I'll probably do like an, I only have one more, uh, one more left. I've gone through so many of these. Look, a whole stack. All right. I hope that helped. Thanks for watching.